Hello people and welcome back to this channel. What a joy, what a pleasure. Blessing. Blessings upon blessings. That's what happens when we come all of us together. And uh, I have uh, again an opportunity to share a video with Jonathan. It's not a video that is brand new. It's a video from the moment in which uh, everyone was uh, quarantined. Yeah, it's a video that uh, it, it's gonna be a powerful prayer session, one hour prayer session. In those moments in which people they are desperate to find some comfort, to find some peace, uh, he was outreaching, he was sharing his faith as usual, he was encouraging. And I am encouraging you as well to do that on a regular basis, to uplift those that need uplifting. Because in the end, uh, that's uh, when we make a difference. And that's what it matters. So, uh, uh, let's take a look at this video, shall we? And then, uh, maybe we're gonna comment a little bit afterwards reaction and comments to Jonathan's video. The music David Luster as usual, music uh, for your soul, spiritual music. So, three, two, one, go. Hello, friends. Hello everybody. Oh, I grab these ones. Well, I guess we're gonna pray on these ones then. My hematite ones are broke. I'd like to get to the point. I'd like us to get to the point in our faith life. Where there are so many people using these that there are businesses that just fix rosaries. <laughs> because right now you've got to find some, you've got to find like a retired nun. And they make them, they always make the connection points not great. It's just like it's rope, it's string, and then it's like hot glued. I'm like, what are they thinking? Um, I know that place, Rugged Rosaries, sells what I'm assuming are rugged rosaries, but it's not this, you know what I mean? Anyway, we're going to use this because that's what I grabbed. Um, yeah, I think I took the other ones out today and they're in my bag, so. Uh, how you doing? Um, do nuns retire? Yeah, they, I, I mean, they they live in community. Um, I mean, you never really retire from being a nun, but the active retirement, I guess you could say. So my former pastor is in a uh, retirement community for uh, religious folks, uh, but he still says mass there. Uh, he still will give uh, sacraments and confession and all that stuff. I think if you asked him, he's just not part of an active community where he's reporting to the bishop um, or the archbishop uh, yeah uh, but you never you don't stop being a nun or a priest once you've taken your vows that's it's for life for life um, yesterday the ascension of our lord what the I didn't even know what day it was. That's that's kind of how my life has been going. How about you? This quarantine, everything runs into each other and then just inundated. So, since I didn't even address it yesterday, and I would like to, um, 
before we start the chaplet. Uh, yes, you may have told me, but I'm not reading the comments, remember. Half the time they're turned off, and if I sat and read every comment while I'm trying to talk or pray, it would be a, an even bigger mess than it already is for me. So, uh, know that I, while I appreciate all your comments, I can't read them all. It's just not possible. At the end of the session, it's like a thousand comments or something like that. Um, or even if it's like 300, by the time I actually get to look at it, it's like, it's like a lot. That's a lot. So, um, <laughs> uh, that's just the way it is, and I'm grateful for that. And I, I don't uh, take that lightly. So, um, yeah, I'm very, very grateful for all the comments. Um, and uh, everybody with intentions and needs, um, please put them in the comments, even if I don't see them. Members of the community will. Uh, to me, it's like putting them on the list. I don't know uh, about other, well, I kind of do know about other denominations and services and worship services. You guys don't necessarily um, read out lists of people that can be put on a list. So in a, in a Catholic mass service, um, there's always something fairly early on in the mass uh, uh, called like the prayer of the faithful. So in it, we uh, during that time, um, we actively read out all the people that uh, need to be prayed for uh, for that week that submit. You can call up the office to your local church if somebody's sick and say, hey, can I put, you know, so-and-so on the list? Uh, they're sick. You have two choices, the, the sick or the deceased. If somebody's died, you can have them prayed for at Mass, kind of like this, actively, this isn't Mass, don't get this confused, clearly, um, I'm not ordained, uh, as you know, uh, but you can uh, literally have one of your loved ones prayed for, and you don't have to be Catholic, you can just, if you believe that there's merit and, and power in having your loved ones prayed for, um, uh, you can call up a church if you feel it's something that might be valuable to you. Uh, and people do. They say, hey, so-and-so is sick. Can you please put them on the list to be prayed for this week? And their names are called out at Mass. So this reminds me of that, since we don't necessarily get to see that. Um, many of our online um, Mass services, church services, uh, and I know in my own community, um, will actually still be reading out names because the names keep coming. They don't stop. The requests keep coming. So this is sort of a version um, uh, of, of doing that. So I encourage you to put names here. Um, yes, Homer J, we will pray for Homer J. Uh, some of you heard my, uh, yes, the 3021, um, heard my interview this morning on Guadalupe Radio in Dallas, Texas. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was an early interview. It was a live interview I had at about 6.20 this morning. So, um, but I did get a nap in earlier. I went to sleep. I had two interviews this morning, then I went to sleep right after that. So I feel pretty rested. Um, yes, I saw something else that I wanted to... Uh, Oh yeah. So um, <clears throat> yeah. So the other thing, since I I didn't I missed it yesterday, uh, but it starts today. I wanted to start um, our nine day novena for the Holy Spirit, um, the coming of the Holy Spirit, which in nine days we will celebrate as Christians uh, in the uh, feast of Pentecost, which is the arrival of the Holy Spirit. The nine days that the disciples awaited the coming of the Holy Spirit for, in, in the form of Pentecost uh, was where we derived the idea of nine day prayers from, called novenas. Nova, novum, novus, meaning nine. I don't remember the Latin number for uh, word for the number nine. I used to, not anymore. So, uh, nine, noventa, that's 90. Um, so nine day novena. So we're gonna do that today too. So I think we'll um, pause the litany of humility in lieu of the novena to the Holy Spirit, which is a lovely one. And um, 
we will get started. But since it's 10 after 3, I want to get to the chaplet first. And then we'll do novena. But let me pull up the novena. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. There we go. Novena to the Holy Spirit. That's the OG Novena. OG. Original. And uh, if you go to PrayMoreNovenas.com, as we have, I think, in the beginning of this 40-day um, session, or it might have been in the... I think it was actually the last session in, on Facebook. Um, you can find it there. Okay. Thank you, Eliza from Brazil. Brazil really getting on board with the Chosen. It's been hitting that country in a very big way. So, uh, wonderful. Okay, let's... Uh, Guatemala, hello, hello to everyone all over the world. I'm going to turn off the comments now for a bit as we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth <coughs> from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Hopefully this will make things better. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we thank you for your graces and your gifts which we receive constantly on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, always and every day. Allow us to continue worshiping you in gratitude, giving thanks always and everywhere for your goodness, for your providence, for your guidance. May we lift up all of our intentions here today, especially those fighting the coronavirus, those who are in treatment for it, those who are sick, and those who are dying, as well as those who have gone home to you, Father. Father God, you are our heavenly Father, the Father of all mankind, not just of Christians and Jews, but also of Muslims and Hindus and people of all race, creed and color. You are the Father of humanity but we know that the one true way to access the fullness of your grace is through the death and resurrection of your son, the sacrifice of your son, our Paschal Lamb who was slain on behalf of the entire humanity. May your truth, Father, through Jesus Christ be shown to the entire world. May they come to believe in him, that he is the Son of God, that he is truly your representation in the flesh, having walked the earth. We pray for conversion of all those who are, who are in 
disagreement with this truth, all those who have yet to come to know you, Lord, all those who resist knowing you, resist wanting to know you, we pray, Lord, for their souls and their spirits and their conversion. Look upon us with favor, Lord, as we offer our prayers here. Bless all of those working in the health and medical industries, treating those who are sick and diseased. Protect those who are on the front lines, those who risk their lives every day in service to the rest of humanity, the rest of society. And give comfort to the grieving, those who have lost people dear to them, whether through COVID-19 or any other illness or disease. We ask all these prayers and intentions in accordance with your will, Lord, in Jesus' holy name and in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Hear us now as we pray, Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father the Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, <coughs> and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, Holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, no mercy is endless. And the treasury of compassion, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself amen jesus i trust in you 
Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. St. Faustina, pray for us. St. John Paul the Great, pray for us. Blessed Father Michael Sapochko, pray for us. All heavenly angels and saints, pray for us. St. Peregrine and St. Bernadine, pray for us. St. Padre Pio, pray for us. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I realize... I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of comments. I realize that I probably, since I'm saying the novena, probably should have started with the novena and followed it with the chaplet. Humility, making mistakes, what I do, very imperfect. Can't believe there's 400 people that still watch what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, well, there it is. I told you, every day and in every way, he finds room to keep me humble through the little things. Thank you, Leslie. I love you all too. Thank you for bearing with me. Now, vain to the Holy Spirit. So let's retroactively get after it here. God is outside of time. He doesn't care. I know he doesn't care. I care, but he doesn't. That's why he's God. We concern ourselves with the things of this world, whereas God concerns himself with the things outside of this world, outside of this time and space. So... Let me just read the email that I got. The Novena to the Holy Spirit for Pentecost is actually the original Novena, the very first Novena. After Jesus ascended into heaven, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I, I want to be very good, okay? All right, let's just... Okay. My De Niro was not in top form today. I apologize in advance for that. <clears throat> the Ascension of the Lord. So this was from yesterday. I'm going to read it. the gospel. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 to 20. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, until the end of the age. The 
Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And then chronologically, I'm going to go back and read the first reading. A reading from the book of Acts. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witness in Jer witnesses in Jerusalem throughout Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men, dressed in white garments, stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I'm doing everything backwards today. But that was chronological. I thought it was going to be after for the gospel. And then I read the gospel first and I I don't plan this as you know. And I'm like, oh, I should have read the first reading first. Just like it's done. Okay. <laughs> Moving along. Turning off the comments for now. Oh no. Um, the Novena. The Novena to the Holy Spirit for Pentecost is actually the original Novena, the very first Novena. After, a Jesus, after Jesus ascended into heaven, the disciples prayed for nine days for the Holy Spirit, the promise of the Father, Luke 24, verse 49. And on the tenth day, they received the Holy Spirit on Pentecost Sunday. As we pray to the Holy Spirit, like the disciples did, we want you to be sure that you find some sort of concrete intention for this novena. The Holy Spirit is a powerful advocate, and trust in God is key in the spiritual life. So make an extra special effort to trust in God's will for you regarding your intention. We're confident the Holy Spirit will surprise you with blessings during this novena. And um, pray more on novenas.com. There's a, a place when you receive the, uh, this email that you can post your intentions on their website. So, day one for the novena to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bow down in humility at the power and grandeur of the Holy Spirit. Let us worship the Holy Trinity and give glory today to the Paraclete, our Advocate. O Holy Spirit, by your power, Christ was raised from the dead to save us all. By your grace, miracles are performed in Jesus' name. By your love, we are protected from evil. 
And so we ask with humility and a beggar's heart for your gift of charity within us. The great charity of all the host of saints is only made possible by your power, O Divine Spirit. Increase in me the virtue of charity, that I may love as God loves with the selflessness of the saints. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we got to pray about humility after all. Oh, and each day I should have slated that uh, charity is the, obviously, for this, the thought of the day, the, the fruit or the gift of the Holy Spirit we're praying for. Each day there'll be a new gift, seven gifts in total. So tomorrow will be another one. Isn't that nice, though? Isn't that beautiful? I really like that. Um, yeah, again, these are prayers that come to me that I've seen that I like, um, that I think are helpful to people. Uh, and they're all within the context of Scripture and within your prayer life. You can say whatever prayers you want. You don't have to be just this way or just that way. So uh, my endeavor in all of this throughout these 40 days, or I think today's day 28, throughout the past 68 days that I've been doing this on social media, um, so many people have gotten encouragement and support, and, uh, and it's been a pleasure with me to let you into my own prayer life a little bit because a lot of the questions I get in these interviews usually is about some way relating to that anyway and this is a very transparent way of letting people see what it is that I do that I do and the prayers that are so close to me and that have helped me get through some really tough times in my own life so I just offer all of you more opportunities for uh, weapons against the enemy um who is fighting real hard these days in very many forms to try to discourage us, um, whether it be working through certain world leaders or certain statutes and laws and limitations and not having the opening of churches within the same phase as some of the other non-essential businesses that seem to be getting open. But, you know, God's in control. So, you know, let's... Uh, in the state of California, let's hope that uh, things get overturned soon. I know very many of you have had the uh, blessings to be able to go back to worship services and church services, and I ask you to pray for all of us who are still um, um, uh, unable to, to, to participate ourselves other than virtually. Um, so pray that the, the Spirit is allowed to uh, work in the hearts of those making the laws and influencing the laws that uh, we may really um, be allowed uh, this essential service in our lives to resume. So, um, yeah. And what did I want to say else in that... Um, did I explain to you? I think I explained about this image here with the rays coming forward, the red ray and the white ray, that that's actually how St. Faustina experienced the vision with the red ray and the pale ray. Um, it looked more like that in reality um, versus the original, which you see behind me, which was, I think, in Lithuania. Um, one of my, um, the second interview I had today was uh, with a, a lovely uh, reporter in Poland who is writing, I think, 
I have to get the name of the magazine, but for the uh, largest um, Catholic magazine in Poland, the largest weekly magazine. So um, for those of you in Poland um, that are watching this, look out for that magazine or whatever the biggest one is, you probably know because I don't. And, uh, and there'll be a nice little article in there um, sometime soon. All right, let's go to the Litany of Trust. So many of you were, were really affected by the, uh, the spontaneous um, uh, inclusion, inclusionary verbiage, inclusive verbiage, inclusionary, look at me, inventing words, the inclusive verbiage that I just uh, felt the need to, uh, to try out yesterday. So I'm going to do it again today like that because I, I really did feel that. I, I agree with many of you that it, it felt like we're all together. It's kind of like, you know, the Apostles' Creed that we say is part of the chaplet. I believe in God, the Father Almighty. Um, the Nicene Creed uh, is is uh, also uh, re recited in the in the Catholic Church throughout the year, uh, and it's we believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, uh, uh, and all that is visible and invis is invisible. The words are slightly different, um, but it's in we. So. Let's um, try this again today using we, because we are all here, over 400 of us, uh, and I'm so blessed by that, so thank you. And I talked to my brother-in-law today, by the way. Um, first time I've talked to him since he lost his father on Wednesday, and he wanted me to uh, let you all know um, just how grateful he was for all of your prayers. And support and encouragement uh, it's still pretty tough obviously it's just been two days and uh, and he said you know I was preparing but I still wasn't ready to lose my father so uh, I think that's uh, that's true about loss in our lives you know we can prepare 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 but we're never really ready for 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 that thing for that event to actually happen so I think the deeper we go in our relationship with God and in our trust and in our faith in Him, the more He's able to take on for us, the more we allow Him to take in our sufferings. Um, and I think it gets a little easier. It doesn't change anything, but I... I think if I had had the faith that that I've developed, and you know, it, it takes time and, and commitment and intentionality and being open to the gifts of the Spirit and what God is trying to tell you, um, I think if I had the same kind of faith um, when I lost one of my uncles when I was uh, in my late teens, uh, it would have affected me differently. Um, and that's why, you know, this concept Sister Teresa's book Memento Mori Remember Your Death uh, is something you know that I'm trying to embrace because you know loss loss does not cease loss continues change continues um, it's a part of the life cycle uh, so trying to be prepared and and really trying to um, be ready to to, to, to fully rely on God to get us through all the trials in life, especially when it comes to the end of life, is uh, something that I hope that I will have the strength for when uh, when He sees fit to put me in that position. Uh, and all of us, you know, I hope um, I pray that for all of us that we have supernatural strength in dealing with loss and sorrow. Um, the more we develop our faith and trust in him. And uh, in that vein, we pray the litany of trust. 
for the belief that we have to earn your love. Deliver us, Jesus, for the fear that we are unlovable. Deliver us, Jesus, from the false security that we have what it takes. Deliver us, Jesus, from the fear that trusting you will leave us more destitute. Deliver us, Jesus, from suspicion of all, all suspicion of your words and promises. Deliver us, Jesus, from the rebellion against childlike dependency on you. Deliver us, Jesus, from refusals and reluctances in accepting your will. Deliver us, Jesus, from anxiety about the future. Deliver us, Jesus, from resentment or excessive preoccupation with the past. Deliver us, Jesus, from restless self-seeking in the present moment. Deliver us, Jesus, from disbelief in your love and presence. Deliver us, Jesus, from the fear of being asked to give more than we have. Deliver us, Jesus, from the belief that our lives have no meaning or worth. Deliver us, Jesus, from the fear of what love demands. Deliver us, Jesus, from discouragement. Deliver us, Jesus, that you are continually holding us, sustaining us, loving us. Jesus, we trust in you, that your love goes deeper than our sins and failings and transforms us. Jesus, we trust in you, that not knowing what tomorrow brings is an invitation to lean on you. Jesus, we trust in you, that you are with us in our suffering. Jesus, we trust in you, that our suffering united to your own will bear fruit in this life and the next. Jesus, we trust in you, that you will not leave us orphan, and that you are present in your church. Jesus, we trust in you, that your plan is better than anything else. Jesus, we trust in you, that you always hear us, and in your goodness, always respond to us. Jesus, we trust in you, that you give us the grace to accept forgiveness and to forgive others. Jesus, we trust in you. That you give us all the strength we need for what is asked. Jesus, you trust. Jesus, we trust in you. <laughs> that our life, that our lives are a gift. Jesus, we trust in you that you will teach us to trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you, that you are our Lord and our God. Jesus, we trust in you, that we are your beloved ones. Jesus, we trust in you. Thank you. Heavenly Father, Clearly, you have heard our intentions as we put our complete trust and faith and surrender into you and your will. Through the gift of your Son, we gain eternal life. We have new life in him. We thank you for these gifts. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for preserving all of our family and, pr and friends. We thank you for your protection. We ask for, for your continued blessing. Come Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. friends.
about that time. Thank you again for another uh, beautiful afternoon. Um, I may or may not go back outside to that spot. I got bit up pretty bad yesterday, and I had a, I had a hoodie on. I see many of you who joined me for Rosary Hour at 6.30 p.m. Pacific uh, saw I was wearing a hoodie, and I still got bit up. So I might have to find someplace else um, if I can, or I might just be here. We'll see. Whatever the Lord prompts me to do. So thank you for your time. Um, the posting, these, the posting of these videos has been going pretty consistently now that Instagram switched over to putting everything on IGTV. Again, not my choice, theirs, but great. And uh, and so many people have been able to watch this after the fact. So if you are watching this um, after after we've taped it, after I've posted it, uh, thank you for watching and for sharing with friends, anybody that might need some kind of encouragement or. A word for the day, um, and uh, and some new prayers maybe to learn. Um, yeah, it's been a gift, and I look forward to the uh, next slightly less than two weeks with you all here. All right, take care. Have a great rest of your day, depending on where you are in the world. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Friends, uh, I hope... Um it inspired you <clears throat> and I hope that it gave you some peace even though we're not in the midst of any quarantine for now well this uh, session of prayer could be helpful to you in other ways prayer is prayer friends and prayer has power you might have a different kind of trial as we speak you might have a different kind of uh, mountain that you have to climb. And when we have mountains in front of us, well, it's not easy, isn't it? <laughs> Challenging indeed. It breaks our heart many times when um, we fail. We fail due to so many hardships that uh, seems to hip on us from every direction. But friend, prayer is always there. Go to Jesus. Allow him to fight your battles. Exodus 14, 14 again. The battle belongs to the Lord. You, well, you only need to be still. What does this stillness mean? Pray. Bring your cause, bring your petitions there at the foot of the cross. And they will be answered. They will be answered in due time. The beautiful music from David Lasha is always uh, make a love shout out to this man of God go to YouTube and visit his channel David last I remember God bless your friends thank you again say close to Jesus because in the end our friends Jesus is all we have and all that matters see you soon